Aileron control. Nose drop, nose drop. Stall, and then and let's no gently support. forward. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Late Departure. My journey to become a commercial airline pilot, something that I'm not sure is possible still at my age, at uh, 36 years old here, but hopefully we'll see that it might turn out. Let's uh, just give it our best and see what happens. So today was super exciting. We got out and we did some spin practice and I'm super happy because I was able to actually get my second camera to run. So uh, for the first part with the takeoff and whatnot, it'll just be the one rear camera. And then later on in the video, you actually get to see the stalls uh, from the side view camera as well, which is really cool because we're in the most beautiful place to film out in the mountains uh, north of the Pitt Meadows Airport. As always, please remember that I edit the heck out of these videos. So a lot of the training stuff is out of context. A lot of the important safety procedures I have cut here and there. So of course, I'm just trying to make the videos as succinct as possible uh, so that people can still get an idea of what the training is like. But at the same time, I don't want to post the whole hour and a half videos. So remember, these are not for official training purposes, but if you see something that looks cool, uh, have a talk with your flight instructor and maybe you can head out and give some of these exercises a try. Pit Tower, Romeo Echo, India, holding short of 26 left. Requesting takeoff. Requesting takeoff. Push down departure, clear takeoff, ready 26 left. Clear departure, 26 left, uh, Romeo Echo, India. So. Landing light on, transponder on, alt. Okay, our heading in here, magnetic compass are on. Yeah, so turn your landing light on, transponder on, alt. On, transponder on, alt. And whenever you're ready. Right. Full power, we have yeah, airspeed alive. Go back, 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 go Loop up Equator tower number 226 left, follow uh, Diamond on left base, turning a mile final. 7-2. Loop up Echo, looking for traffic. traffic. So we got traffic straight ahead of us, but they're probably a thousand feet below us crossing in front. Pit tower, good day, this is Cessna 172. Oh, what's Golf, that golf course Romeo in front of Golf. Us, We're right currently there. just south of uh, 20 set, requesting a transit your zone southbound to boundary. Oh, it starts with an S. Golf Echo, Romeo Golf, Pit tower, squawk it in, Altimeter 2 to enter 9 or 6, what's your current altitude? Can I check it out? Yep. Current altitude is uh, 1,500 uh, feet. Uh, 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 Please, Romeo Golf. Extra Romeo Golf, Roger, cleared southbound via oh. the Pitt River route, maintain 1,500. Tower, good morning. This it's is Swan Ascent. Uh, yep. Zulu, uh, Didn't remember that. Five miles to the south. At 2,300, you get steep, uh, steep turn. Alrighty. Okay. okay. I have control. You have control. So, can you tell me the symptoms of a stall? Yes. Once so, we're going to have the reduced airspeed. We're going to have uh, the stall horn go off, which I keep forgetting to mention. Ah. We're going to start to feel uh, reduced aileron control and we're going to get a buffeting before and then our nose drops to regain that laminar airflow over the wing. Good, so I will show you each of those four symptoms starting with the reduced controls, the stall horn, buffeting and then finally nose drop and then I will isolate them and then I will Go the reverse, so I'll get rid of the nose drop, get rid of the buffeting, get rid of the stall, and then get rid of the aileron um, controls. Roger. Okay? Yep. So, ready? Yep. So, power out. I'm going to trim it all the way nose up first, but... That's to just slow us down initially. Yep. Alright, so... Plane wind to go down. We are descending. I'm bringing that nose up. Northbound. So. The rounds are mushy. Mushy controls. Yeah. So, stall horn soon. Here's the stall horn. And. Hear it? Yep. I'm going to pull back a bit more. 
Traffic, we'll feel the plane vibrate. So here's the, the buffeting right there. There's the buffeting. Uh, and then they're going to pull back uh, a bit more. Here's the nose drop. So the nose is dropping, yep. but it's coming back up. And then if I release controls, get rid of the nose drop. Yep. Get rid of the nose drop. Get back to the buffeting. Yeah. There's a stall horn, yep. release it a bit more. Get rid of the stall horn. So much ailerons, and then I'll yep. release even a bit more. Oh, we got good ailerons. Yep. We'll be so, those are the, the stages tower. and symptoms when approaching the stall. Roger. Uh, Have a good day. So, you have control. I have control. Uh, let's climb to 3,000 feet again. Climb back up to 3,000 feet. Then we'll do a 180 to the right. Roger. For a lookout. All right, we're at 3,000 feet. Level off. Yep. All right, leveling off. Our attitude, our power. Back okay, out to our cruise power setting. And let's pitch. Trim that. Okay, and we're going to do our 180 lookout here. So let's do our quick check over the wing there. I do not see any traffic there. Let's do a semi-gentle, maybe a medium turn here, a 20 degree turn to the right. Get that rudder in. Yep. And we're climbing we a little. We are climbing a little. Yes, let's uh, fix that. I find I'm having a lot of trouble uh, Getting that horizon, I'm trying to draw it around there, you know? Well, we're in a mountain, so it's a bit harder. Yeah. There really is no horizon in the mountain. I have a general idea of where the horizon is. Yeah, but it's still challenging here, that's, yeah. that's normal. Yeah. But still trying to avoid not, uh, <coughs> avoid keeping my eyes in the plane. Yeah. Great. All right, so I've control now. Do the first stall, okay? And then Roger. I'll do a power off stall with a power off. Yeah, you've control. I've control. So lookout is good. I don't see anything. Yep. I'll use that really big cloud right in front of us. The that group of cloud yep. as my landmark. Got it. Power out all the way. Lock my ailerons in. Yep. Started off at 32, and I'm just gonna pitch back without using the trim. Yep. I use both hands because I'm not going to use the power for the stall. Roger. Just going to keep pitching back, maintaining altitude. Back, stall horn is, should come on soon. Here we go, stall is stall horn. And there's the nose drop, stall, oh. and just pitch forward. Just below the horizon and yeah. wait for the airspeed to get to 65. And that is the recovery for Excellent. a power off stall with a power off recovery. All right, so we're at 3,000 feet again. Yeah. So what's our goal for altitude loss here? Uh, there is none because we are not using power for recovery. We just want to be able to recover without engine power. Roger. So I want you to get in the habit of pitching that nose down. Roger. So you have control. I have control. All right, let's do one. All right. We've done our, our lookout check here. Yeah. Let's get back up to 3,000. Okay. Or trimmed for 3,000 here. Car beat is out. We're going to bring the pull the power out. Yep. We're going to keep that back pressure to. Shall I use trim? No, nope, don't no? use trim. Okay. So keeping that altitude, keeping that altitude. Yep. Keep pitching back. Back. No, no ailerons. Ailerons. Pitching back. Back. Stall horn. Pitching. Yeah. Yeah. And as soon as the nose drops, then you can uh, lower the nose. Great. Keep pitching. Think back. Here we go. Great. And. Here's the nose drop. Nose and light, gentle. Back to 65. Yep. Okay. So about here, you should be about 65 about uh, here. 60. But uh, yeah, 60. There you go, 65. All right, good. Let's climb back up to 3,000 feet. Climb back to 3,000 feet, so our power. Repeat. And then we'll do a climbing right turn, okay? Climbing right turn. That'll be our lookout for the other direction. Roger. Good, that was really well done. Thank you. Nice and gentle. You're not like pushing that nose down. So with this uh, plane... I had that experience before, it was horrible. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like you just released the pressure on it. Yeah.
Looking for traffic, maintaining that bank. Yeah. Now let's uh, get a little bit better of a, our VY here. There we go. 3,000 feet. We're at 3,000. Shall we even out now? Yeah. Okay. Continue. So we'll keep the turn going. So Continue you can just turning. bring the nose down and just keep the turn going, yeah. Yeah. Look at that lake. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Wichon Lake's up there. Yeah. A lot of people hike up there. Yeah. You have to like rent a canoe, then kayak over here, and then hike up. Yeah. I'm too lazy for that, so that's why I fly. Because... <laughs> I could drop you off. <laughs> why should I hike five hours up to a lake when I can just fly over it? Yeah. And also because I can. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. That's, that's our 180. I did not see any traffic. Me neither. Um, we're at about 3,200 here. Steady. Okay. Doing that. Doing that. All right. All right. So. I will do a power on recovery with this one with a power off entry, okay? Roger. Power off entry with a power on recovery. So yeah. I have control. You have control. So 3,200 feet. Entry is going to be the same. Yep. So. Set off some airspeed. Yeah. So entry is still the same. Uh, going to pitch up. This is a we just stall wrong. Okay. So, so once I get the stall, nose drop, yeah. nose forward, yeah. full power, car peed off, and then just bring the nose slightly back up okay. the horizon and just climb it up to altitude. Roger. All right, you have control. I have control. So you can try that, okay? All right. Too much rudder? Oh, okay. Okay. So we're at uh, third, about 3,200 feet here. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get ready. We've done our lookout. We'll have our car peed out. Power to idle. Start pulling up. Glen Valley traffic, that's a 152 call. Tango Yankee, India, 3,600 over farmer. Oh, ailerons. Keep it straight. Yeah. 3,600. Straight here. Okay, here we come. There's a nose the drop. drop. Gentle nose down, and power. power in, car peat off, and... And get back into a climb. Back into a climbing. Control that rudder. Good. And we're back into our VY. Good. Awesome. That was really nicely done. Let's do a 180, and then you can do that a couple times, and then we'll do power on stalls. Roger. All right, doing a 180. Check my traffic on the left here first. Traffic's clear. Yeah, this climbing turn, shall we uh, level out now at 3200 again, or...? Oh, you're already climbing, so okay. up to you. We can go to 35. Sure. Okay, maintaining traffic, bank, or altitude coming up to 3,500 in just a moment here. Traffic, and bank, and uh, no traffic I can see so far here. Our traffic, bank, here's 3,500, maintaining, going back to our cruise, and I lost a bit of my bank there, let's get that back. 100. A bit too much rudder. Back to Bay. Like traffic. Don't traffic. Uh, uh, no. We're coming out of our bank. A little bit more of that rudder. Yep. All right, so we're steady at 3,500 feet. Yep. So, uh, we've done our lookout check here, so yep. we'll go back into it. So once again, we'll have our car beat on. Throttle out, maintain that back pressure. Yep. Our ailerons are neutral. Our altitude. Because our aileron control. Nose drop, nose drop, stall, and then and let's gently forward, forward power on, and car repeat off, and, and let's get that and go under add, control. Yeah, as soon as you add power, you can bring it back to nose up climb. Roger. And we're going back into our VY here. Good. 
And so once you get real. really good at this, you can probably do a stall and a recovery within a uh, hundred feet if you're really good, fifty feet or so. Roger. Yeah. Coming back onto our, let's get our yaw under control. Coming back to uh, 3500, shall we level out? Yeah, Roger. let's do another one. All right. Coming back to our cruise setting. Okay, so yeah. once again, we've done our lookout here. Don't see any traffic around. We're going to car repeat out, yeah. throttle out, gaining that altitude of 3500, that nose up. Yaw, aileron's neutral. Glenn Valley, Traffic, Cessna 152, Gulf Tango Yankee, India, at 3,500 over Steve Falls, doing our work. Okay. Traffic, this is Alpha, no aileron Alpha, control. Alpha, over Witching Creek, 2,400. Buffeting, uh, there's the drop, North nose North down, North power, North in, North power in, car feet off, North and North uh, maintain North our North climb North again. North and I lost 400, or 100. That was beautiful. Great. That was amazing. <laughs> All right, let's do one more, and then we'll do a 180, and then I'll show you a power on stall. Roger. And we'll do one power on stall, and then I'll preview a spin. Got you. So we're back to our cruise, 3500, looking for traffic. We're clear of traffic here. Yeah. Well, All right. We were going to do a one RP out, on, uh, yep. throttle yeah, out, gaining our altitude. Neutral ailerons. Increasing. Uh. And there's the buffet. There's a nose drop. Okay. That was messy. Oh. So I didn't I didn't get a strong nose drop, but I did have it all the way yanked back. I have control. Control. So if you have it yanked all the way back, yeah. and it's not getting a nose drop, but you're losing altitude, that's also a stall. Gotcha. These Cessnas, so they don't really have a prominent nose drop. Roger. Sometimes you have it pitched all the way up and you're losing altitude, that's also a stall. Right. Um, also, on that last one, you used aileron as soon as that left well, wing I, dropped. I, I, uh oh. I saw you Yankee go like that. Oh, I gotta watch that. That's uh, bad, bad habit. Yeah. So, doing air work not bad, we'll do more review on that next time. Roger. But let's do a power on stall. So, power on stall. Like yeah. yeah, look up. Everything's good. I'll bring the power to 15. Roger. So, I'm not gonna care about altitude on this one. So, you're gonna gain altitude anyways. I'm gonna gain altitude anyways. Yeah. And with this one, you're gonna be pretty nose high, and there will probably be a tendency of a wing drop. Of course. So you have to really keep those rudders coordinated. A step on that wing. And no aileron, nose down, rudder, power, RP, and recover. Roger. So. Beautiful. You have control. I have control. So with that one, we had a wing drop. Yep. But I didn't move my ailerons at all. All yeah. I did was push forward, use my rudders to try to roll the wings level again, and then add power. Roger. So, let's do that. Okay. So, we've looked for our traffic here, looking around, don't see any. Bring our car heat out. Oh, dear. RPMs back to 1500. Yeah. Experience a slightly more nose up attitude, and a little bit low here. Let's go. 100. to maintain our neutral aileron. Aileron. Rudder. And forward. There's our rudder. Forward. Power on. Car repeat off. And uh, let's get back up to our... Get that rudder under control. And get back up to our climb attitude. Good. Okay. Let's do that once more. That was, that was great, actually. Oh, we're a little going up to 3,600. That's I fine. Got a little bit more altitude than I bargained for there. That's fine. We'll, we'll gain altitude on the entries on this one. Roger. That's fine. Okay. So once again, do our lookout for traffic here. Do not see any traffic above or below us here. Yep. Okay, we're at 3,600. I guess altitude doesn't really matter too much here, but we're going to car repeat out. Yep. We're going to get our RPMs back to 1,500. And we're going to start pitching up, maintaining neutral ailerons.
ailerons, going back. There's the drop forward. Full power car beat on and get that rudder under control there. And go back to our climb VY. Good. I have control. Control. So don't move your feet from the rudder pedals. Okay. Keep them how so when I noticed that you have your rudder pet or feet quite far up your rudder pedals. Right. Try to keep it on the bottom as Will a do. habit when you're airborne. Especially yes. when we get into the circuit, okay? Right. So I'm doing a lookout right now. I'm climbing up to four thousand feet, preview you a spin and then we'll head back. Sounds good. Oh beautiful day. Beautiful day, I know. Too, too bad it's gonna end in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Okay. All right, so height 4,000, area is good. Security, my seatbelt is good, your seatbelt is good, fire extinguisher secure, stuff in the back is secure. Engine, car peed out, gauge is green, extra full ridge, fuel tank on both. All right, I'm gonna do a once, uh, one rotation spin, okay? Gotcha. I'll preview this one. So this is what we're doing next. Yeah. All right, a rolling slow. All right, opposite rudder. Elevator forward. Auto dive. So that's what we're doing next. Oh, awesome. Look forward to it. Yeah. Okay, you have control. I have control. And whenever you're ready, we're over when Swanee we, Set, when right? we get close to Swanee Set, we can just say we're east of Swanee Set. Yeah. And we're inbound for a false stop, okay? Roger. With uh, information Charlie. All right. So in about maybe 10 seconds or so? Uh, Yeah, or once we cross the power lines underneath of us, you can call. Gotcha. So we can say we're just east and whatever altitude we're at. Pit Tower Cessna 172, Golf Romeo Echo India, uh, 2400 east of Swanee Set, uh, inbound for landing. With the Golf Romeo Echo India, Pit Tower Squawk at runway 26 left, altimeter 29 or 9 or 6, cleared right base. Cleared right base, Romeo Echo India. Also, we have uh, Charlie. Roger. Oh, Squawk Ident, so hit the Ident button. Yeah. Uh, right here. Yep. So right base. So we have Queen Tower identified. What do you think right base is? They they just confirmed they got our ident, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you think right base is? So right base uh, is coming. Uh, well, it's actually since we're going on tw two six left, uh, right base is going to be coming right in here. This way they're coming. Good. So we are pretty much on the right base. We're kind of far out on the right base. Yeah. If we point towards the golden ears, yeah. that's where they kind of want us to be on base. Roger. So we'll, we'll just that direction. fly towards the golden ears, okay? Yeah, flying towards that direction. We still have our... We're just coming on 2,000. Shall we level off here? No, nope, we'll keep descending. Roger. Because they want us to be at 1,000 um, okay. when we enter the circuit. So, you see where the um, golden ears way is and then the on-ramp to golden ears way? Yep. That's pretty much where the circuit begins, so we should aim to be at about a thousand right there. Just okay. one three sixty outside the zone. So this is a good descent right in runway two six one. What can you do with this one right now? Bravo, so back, disregard that. Just a straight in now, runway 26 left. There's traffic behind you, so that's not going to work. So just continue on the straight in runway 26 uh, we'll uh, turn it to ground. Good, so turn it to ground. Getting you to take Julie, 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 land, I thought you were going to say something like, zero monitor zero tower surveillance service emergency frequency. That's only on route, though. Oh, no, that's down zero here, so right. two is for that. Okay. Good. This is a good descent rate. Come to the right a little bit more. Just face yeah. the middle of the bridge, basically. Yeah. We're still uh, on that 90 uh, knot descent here. Yep, that's fine. So once we Julie, Julie, get to a thousand feet, ground, right we can start slowing the plane down. So we have to plan to turn final one mile to the uh, east of the Hammond Mill. You'll be number two, runway two six left to follow a Cessna on four mile final. They're currently at your 10 o'clock, three and a half miles, 1,300 feet. Romeo Echo India, looking for traffic. So we'll turn left. 
We'll do a left turn. Left turn. So Hammond Mills, 12 o'clock in front of us. Yeah. They want us to turn final one mile east of Hammond Mill. Okay. I see the plane right there. Welcome to the Quebec Tower traffic. Yeah. At your 2 so o'clock, 2 miles straight. We'll so eastbound company Cessna 1,000 feet. And we'll level off at 1,000 feet instead, okay? Yeah. Okay. There we go, right there. Yeah, he's 12 o'clock. And you can tell him we have traffic in sight. Pit Tower traffic in sight, it's Romeo Echo India. Romeo Echo India Tower, roger. Continue to follow that traffic. Your sequence is to follow, but uh, follow that traffic. Following the traffic, Romeo Echo India. Fox Roger, the Kilo Tower, you look close in base. Otherwise, uh, you'll have to do an orbit in the downwind, your choice. Fox Roger, the Kilo, we can do a close in base. So we're following the Kilo Tower, roger. Keep the base in close. We'll keep flying this direction. We want to give him a bit of room. So we'll level right, off at the 1,000 feet as well. Roger. Back tire number 2, runway 26 left. Follow us, that's the left down window. We'll be doing a close in base. Number 2, Rob, so look at it. Look at the traffic. Pit down, pit down, it's a full golf now. I should have fucked us. There's lots of Algon at 1,500 in box for full stop with the first one. Well, Mike Unifro, Fox, Shop, Pit Tower, Squawk, and Tower, here's a thousand. Let's get our cruise. Third speed in, start reducing the final approach. RPM, RPM off. Say again. Alright, so the runway's just behind identified, my wing tip. Uh, one orbit outside the zone at your discretion. And let's and slow down a little bit, so then we can put in some flaps when we turn final here, okay? Yeah. Mike here, Fox, I can reduce the view if that works better. Uh, turning in. Fox, yeah. so we'll turn in, follow him. 12 o'clock a mile, will be turning final in front of you at 1,000 feet. If you have them in sight, report them in sight. In sight, Mike here, Fox, 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 Romeo Echo India Tower traffic just to the east of you is also going to follow you in. Your number three, runway 26 left to follow a Cessna two mile final. Romeo Echo India traffic in sight. Alright, so let's slow down. Traffic is turning, uh, one Bring mile the power final. Back. Spacing is good. Continue number two. Absolutely. Wait for the white arc and then we'll put in 20 degrees flap, okay? So we're following that guy right in front of us. Yeah. yeah. So bring the power out. All the way out? Yep. Bring it to 15 or so. Bring that nose up so we're not descending. Yeah. We don't want to slow down. Yep. And then put 20 degrees flap. 20 degree flap. Where's the flap? Right here, so just okay. hold six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then add power. Power? Yeah, add, add more power. Roger. And then trim for 70 knots. Yeah. Add a bit more power. More power. And there's 70. Lumpy today. A little bit. That's okay. And then as we cross this highway right here, we'll yeah. go full flaps and we'll trim for 60 knots. Okay. Bravo to the Quebec Tower, clear to land runway 26 left. Bravo to the Quebec. Okay, so uh, we're gonna oh. full flaps. Full flaps. And trim for 60 knots. Yep. With this power setting? Uh, whatever power setting you need. So bring that nose down. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, power you Better right a little bit. You can bring the power up just slightly. Thank you, Julie. Julie, tire standby. There's three airplanes to land. Thank you, Julie, standby. Good. This is good. Come to the right slightly. Right. It's actually good. We're yeah. a little high, but that's fine. Yeah. So, we're aiming for those numbers again. Yeah. And once we get over the runway, we'll bring the power back. We'll still keep having our nose down over the numbers. I think we are uh, we need a little more power right now, don't you? A little bit. Just add a little bit of power. This is good, actually. Right. Okay. We're right on the glide slope. Okay, we want to maintain that Bravo 60. Bravo to left on Bravo contact ground. I got the right off the runway. Right. Right. Romeo Quindia Tower, traffic exiting Bravo, clear to land, runway 26 left. Romeo Quindia. So, as we cross over those numbers, we'll keep the nose down. Yeah. We'll look at the end of the runway, bring it to cruise attitude, okay? Yeah. Just talk me through it. Yeah. Okay, right here. Yeah. We're going to power out. Power out. Yeah, keep that nose down. Keep that nose down. Oh. Now bring the cruise attitude. Cruise, cruise attitude. attitude. Cruise attitude. Cruise. Yeah. Nose up. Nose now up. Hold. Yeah. 
Just hold her nose up, hold, hold her nose, nose up. up, hold her nose up. Good. I didn't do anything. That was a great landing. Now we'll slow down, so back down pressure. Down 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 I will follow this line off right here. Roger. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Once again, thank you for joining me on my late departure here. I hope that uh, this video was fun to watch and that you had as much fun watching it as I did doing it. If you have any suggestions for how you might want to see these videos differently in the future or anything like that, please let me know. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. If you're out flying, fly your best, have fun. And remember, it's never too late. See you next time.